Yo guys, what's going on in the works? And yeah, we're playing some Metro today, and this is actually a pretty competitive game here. It's a little bit different than what I normally post. It's a game where we actually had to struggle to win. We had to crack down against a pretty competent team. But I'm using the M39, which a lot of you guys have wanted to see, so I figured it would go hand in hand with the topic we're talking about today, as well as give you guys a pretty entertaining um, yet competitive game to watch with the M39. So hopefully you do enjoy the gameplay, but Metro, 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 a map that you either love it or you hate it. There are a couple people that, you know, like it sometimes. I think I'm kind of in the middle there. Like, I really do enjoy Metro from time to time, but there's other times where I cannot stand it. But the thing about Metro is it's a very blue, blue map. It's it's one of the maps that suffers from the, quote, blue filter that is on a lot of the maps in Battlefield 3. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, in my last video, I basically talked about how DICE said, one of the DICE programmers said, that there was going to be a future option and a PC client update that would allow us to go into the console and actually disable the blue filter. So they basically were like, okay, blue filter's there, we'll give you the option to disable it, which a lot of people were just, you know, excited about. A lot of people were like, this is awesome. DICE is finally listening to us. They're finally, you know, coming out of their bullheadedness um, because there's no doubt that DICE is very arrogant when it comes to their game. They they like to talk about it as if um, they know better than the community. And that stance has gotten them into a lot of hot water, especially here as of late. Well, um, it turns out that they're doing a 180 and they will not be including that option into the game. Um, they said as a studio, it is extremely important for them to have a unique identity in their game. Not only from a gameplay perspective, but visually as well. While we appreciate that some players might want to uh, want a slightly different look to the game, we are proud of the visual identity of Battlefield 3 and do not wish to change it. Um, so it looks like we're not getting it, in short. They basically fell back on their previous argument that that was their art style, that that was their creative vision, putting a blue filter over their game. It gives them the identity that separates them from the other, quote, modern shooters. And, you know, I can respect that. I actually can respect that. But you don't go out in the public and say, hey, we're going to give you the option. Then you can do a complete 180 and go back to your original argument. Now, there's one thing that I see a, a increasing trend with DICE is limiting the amount of like freedom we have with games. I mean, this is a PC game. Now, I don't expect them to do this with console because that would be impossible to implement. Now, I'm a huge console supporter. I have nothing against it. But on PC, one of the biggest advantages you can have is changing settings, changing graphic settings, you know, having the ability to customize the game to play the way you want to play it. And I think this is, you know, a huge misstep on DICE's part. They were already in a lot of hot water for the way they've basically been handling the Aftermath DLC, you know, removing the guns. They're all about the bait and switch. And a lot of people were upset about that. They're like, okay, you know, we just keep continually getting misled by DICE and EA. And people were getting frustrated with it. And me personally, I was excited to do this. I thought it would be a, a unique twist on Battlefield 3 to actually get to play it like it was in the alpha because I did play a little bit of the alpha and it looked gorgeous. Now, the settings you see me playing on are tweaked slightly. It's not as blue as it is on um, some people's things. I don't tweak it a lot, but you can still tell. There's a little bit of a, like a blue haze over the map and it makes the game look a little bit more cartoonish. If you would see the game how it looks without the filter, you would see just how realistic, how good the Frostbite 2 engine works. Uh, but I don't understand DICE. I don't know why they, they go out on a limb to constantly, constantly alienate people within the community. I mean, it feels like they want to be seen as these bad guys. I mean, if they don't say this, if they don't even waste their time opening their mouths and saying they're going to include the option, people probably still complain about the blue filter, um, but they don't do anything about it. Basically, I think this was a... A compromise to get us to stop using the uh, color tweakers, to stop using the FF or FXAA injectors um, that a lot of people use to make the game look more colorful. But alas, we will not be getting that option. So I'm wondering, what do you guys think of this? Do you think this was a bad PR move on Dice's point? Because basically, they've just hammered home the idea that hey, we don't care that you guys want customization because this is our game you know this is our rules basically it's like um, I was on the on a podcast last night these game speak podcasts which if you don't ever check out I'm on that weekly so um, I will link that in the description you can go over there and check out uh, last night's episode we talked a little bit about the blue filter and I was like look they it's like a totalitarian government with dice they don't want to give players the freedom to customize the game um, I can respect an artistic vision but when it comes to a video game when there's so many different uh, aspects that go into it you got to have some sort of leeway. I mean, the game is, what, almost a year old now? I don't think it would be that hard for DICE to kind of kind of suck it up and just give us the option to remove the blue tent. So, um, looks like we will never be getting that, unfortunately. 
people will continue to use the color injectors, they will continue to use the battlefield color tweaker, which in turn will lead to more people having the ability to change gun stats and stuff like that. Um, it'll lead to more people being banned for just wanting to play the game in its quote natural state. So um, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that DICE is just too bullheaded when it comes to Battlefield 3? Um, because I think if you go and look at the Mordor HQ post where this guy talks about it, you can see just how pe mad people are. I mean, uh, the majority of people are like, hey, look, we don't really care that you're not giving it to us because we didn't expect it in the first place. But you don't go out there and say, hey, we're going to give it to you and then go, oh, nope, nope, nope. My bad, guys. Just kidding. Um, so it is kind of frustrating as a as a player, as a person who really respects Battlefield 3 to to get treated like that, because honestly, it's it's kind of insulting. And I was uh, I wasn't really too excited about the, the the color change, to be honest, but I was, you know, interested in trying it out. But um, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of a rant video. I, I know I normally don't do these and here's a couple of videos that you might have missed on Battlefield 3 and one Medal of Honor Warfighter video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.